Emma Crazies and welcome back. All right, today I got a yarn haul come through the post. I am so chuffed. Um, I really didn't expect it to turn up as quick as it did. Now, I placed this order, crikey, on the 2nd of April after checking on this company's uh, Facebook page to make sure, sure they were still sending items out. Um, now, the company I used is a company that's based up in Scotland called Good Vibes Yarn. I'll pop a link down below to their website. Okay, so um, I popped on their Facebook page to make sure that they still had the item and um, that they were still sending items out basically. Um, and the lady had put a post up saying that she's now only going to be sending out two times a week um, to try and limit her amount of time that she's in enclosed spaces with people she doesn't know so because she's only a little independent company um so what i did was i dropped a message on her fa um dropped a message just on the general chat on her facebook basically saying that i was going to pop an order and it was on its way now i'd already got me all my basket all lined up so i literally clicked the press buy it now button and was like right it's on its way it's on its way so um here it is and I'll tell you a couple more facts about the company and then we'll like we'll get to open it. Right. So I'm just pulling up now um the information in front of me on the computer in front of me. Now um Good Vibe Yarn is a small specialist yarn retailer that's located in Scotland and they have a lot of fun and colourful yarns really they are some absolutely gorgeous ones um, and I will probably end up using quite a lot of this haul in future projects and they take the payments through PayPal card payments on the site bank transfers if they if they can help in any way they do they are absolutely brilliant any information they collect they keep to themselves which like about you so that is brilliant um, the shipping or the postage is two pound ninety but if you spend over 25 quid you get it for free now that is for UK mainland Scotland um, where is it gone if you wanted it shipped worldwide then your best bet is to give them a call because it will be a different cost on postage but they they state that under their um, uh, frequently asked questions section which is actually where I'm getting all this uh, information from now because I'm a bit cheeky and um, yeah so so bless um, Sarah's got a email address there so that you can send them a little message um just to find out if they can still post over to your country if you're my cheeky guys from america or elsewhere you never know you might still be a bit lucky um right so i'm gonna grab the package and i'm gonna get opening give me a second i also forgot to mention that this parcel came via hermes now for me in my area hermes is a bit touch and go when it comes to your parcels um they can either arrive really quickly or they can take two to three weeks now that has got nothing to really do with the sender which we like we all fully understand that now another problem with them is sometimes they're a little bit rough with the parcels so in this case we do have a rip but it's not too bad and it's hit against a label so the yarn inside is going to be perfectly fine right so do you know what I'm just going to use that hole and I'm getting in there. It's fluffy. Right, so what I do need to do, oh crikey, some of this, um, what I did was I actually, um, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> right, um, now with this order, I actually managed to get myself um, a clearance mystery box um, and a mixed cake mystery box. Now it's all in the same bag so it's not been separated so I'm just going to try and work out what um, ball of wool is in what section okay so I will be back shortly right I'm back with you so the first item I ordered was the 900 um, 900 grams clearance box of yarn mixed weights colors fibers um, and it's priced up at 11 pound 
So the reason I was giggling is because I've spotted some yarn in there and I remembered remembered them saying that they won't actually be stocking this yarn anymore, which is a bit of a shame because it was one of my preferred, especially if I was doing ar Aragurumi. But um, here goes, I'll grab it. Now, not only that, as you all know, I'm pretty bored of green, but there we go. Um, oh, I'm going to swap to my other camera so it's a bit closer for you to all, all to see. Give me a second. So here we go on the first section. We've got two balls of the four ply special um, by Starcraft. If I just turn this over here, there are 100 grams. Okay, this shade is pale rose. Okay, and the other one is meadow. And to be honest, both of these work up beautifully together um, for sort of baby blankets. So a really nice combination. Now they wash at um, 40 degrees, which is really good, again, for baby stuff. You can cool tumble dry it. Ooh, I'll be testing that out. Um, good. Okay, so those are the first ones. Now I've got two balls of those just shove them up there okay now I, I think she might have had a bit of a nose at what I've had previously because she also sent me one of this papaya now I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong but I would I've always called it papaya for some reason um, and it's Baltic okay so this one is let me see if I can get it around the right way so wash at 30, okay, four millimeter hook and don't tumble dry. It's 300 grams, that's uh, 360 meters or 393 yards and it's 100% acrylic. Now if you look at the color combinations on this, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got quite a long colorway change, so it does depend on your project as to how far the colour goes across but watch this space I will be doing a tutorial of something with this okay so then my next one is from the same range there's your um, colour combination on that colour's not showing up too badly actually today so it's really really cute okay and the last one okay this one has really stubbed, um, really confused me. I, th I think it's what you, we all call an eyelash yarn. It does actually look like it. Okay, I have never had my hands on an eyelash yarn before. Well, not this long anyway. Okay, so this one is the fluffy range. It's quite apt for the name actually. It's nice and soft like like the other yarns. Um, it's made in Turkey and what is the colour on this? Oh, it's just a colour number which is 807. Okay, it's 100 grams and it's 33 metres or 36 yards. Okay, and then there it is again. So it's insane, isn't it? And she sent me that colourway. I'm not sure if they're all the same 807s. Oh, they're all the same colourway. So I've actually got three of those. It's all slightly different with the mixes of colour. Yep. Now they've all got green in the middles. Okay, so that was uh, my mystery um, mystery bag. Okay, give me a second and I'll get the next lot. Right, so next up, we've now got the mixed cake ba uh, cakes bag, which is uh, 900 grams. Now you do have the option here, um, whether to have a wool mix or not a wool mix. So this one is no wool fibre, please. Because I find that sometimes um, in cakes, the wool mixes for me are a bit rougher. Well, at least they are with the Aldi lot anyway. But needs must. So. I'll swap, swap us over onto the other camera and I'll show you what's in this slot. Okay, so it's squidgy. 
here is the papaya uh, velvet which again I've said wrong um, it's made in Turkey and there's your colour and lot information there I think packaging so cute though now if you're going to make a jumper you're looking at six to seven balls um, I got three So it might be a case of a baby jumper or something with this. Um, let's have a look what else was there. I just, I've just i never seen that before. How many are you going to need for a project? that That's quite cheeky. Well, it makes me giggle anyway. It's also saying a 6 to 6.5 millimetre um, for me. And what are we on? 30 wash, don't tumble dry, don't iron and lay flat, isn't it? It's 100% acrylic. Is 100 grams okay or 109 yards so I've got 300 yards any ideas what I can make with this one guys if you could pop it underneath in the messages that'd be brill again it's something I've I've not had my hands on right I need to get on to the next one otherwise I'll sit here stroking that yarn for ages <laughs> Okay, so next up, it is the, the cakea, or cakey. Okay. okay, okay, this is a colour 206. It's wash at 30, don't iron, don't tumble dry, lay flat to dry, um, 4 millimetre hook, there's 150 grams on 590 yards so that's a nice size for making a shawl um yeah let's get a get a strand without there we go that's quite nice isn't it um what size weight is that i think it's three and a half four right anyway so that one there and there's the base quite a nice little colorway let's pop that one up then oh sorry God, this one oh my gosh how bright is that especially as everybody's going for bright colors at the moment that's going to look lovely made up into something okay this one is color 231 now I'm sure that these probably do have proper names. I just um, haven't got the website up at the moment to double check. So what I will do is once I'm editing this video together, I will uh, other nose see if I can find any, any extra information and just pop it into the video, sort of where you can read it at the bottom. Okay, and then my next one, which sent me was this one. Really, it's like a pinky colour. I that colour's not showing up as much as um, previous colours. And this one is colour 205. Okay, and again, it's another one of the cakey cakes. And the last one, this is very manly. This one, look at that. Actually, the same. No, they're not. Oh well. There we go. And again, this one is colourway 214. And it's for the 150 grams. Right, I'm going to grab the next lot. See you in a moment. Okay, next one up is the pastel, super chunky, CBB. It's spelt so not how I say it. Um, blanket, it's 150 grams, 100% acrylic, and it's a Chanel um, young cake wall. I'll um, show you that one now. Here we go. That's the proper name. I'll let you have a go at it. Um, if you can pop in comments, it's split up into its um, sounds. That would be absolutely brilliant because then I might actually get it into my head. But this is their blanket yarn. Um, this colour one is 301 
dash o one. Um, it's just classed as pastel on their site. Okay, uh, it's 150 grams or 600. Uh, 600? 164 yards. And again, they've got that little pattern that says it's going to take me four to make something. Okay. Um, now it's a 6 to 6.5 millimeter hook. For me, I'll probably end up doing a 6.5 because I do pull. Um, I am quite a tight crocheter. Okay, so there's the, the colour of it. It's so soft. I had actually ordered this one um, because I thought, well, I know they do um, Chanel and I've not felt Chanel before, so I wanted to feel it and see if I can work with it. So I thought, oh, I'll grab one cake and give it a go. Okay, so there's that one. And the last one, I'm not going to swap, swap back because everybody knows this brand really really well she stocks mandela baby from lion brand now this one here i've picked up in the color wishing well okay it's 150 grams okay of three weight there we go there's your information there now the reason i grabbed this was because this is going to be the best bit of the video she stocks them in the uk guys and they are five pound fifty i let that sink in five pound fifty wool warehouse you're looking at just under seven pound i have not found them any better priced anywhere else so click that link in a minute let me get to the end of the video and then click the link and see if she can um hook you up with some if, if this is your preferred yarn but as I said I've never had this is something I've never got my hands on before so there we go now that yeah just checking that's it that's the last of uh, the wall for this um for this order right so um this one as I'd stated, the Mandela, she has that up at £5.50, which is a heck of a lot cheaper than places like Wool Warehouse. If you can find it cheaper, please tell me. But to be honest, I don't think I'll be going for the Man. There we go. I don't think I'm going to really be buying the Mandela that often. Not when the papaya, or however it's said, and um, the papaya is exactly the same amount of grams and everything else and the colours are just as vibrant but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make something with both I'm going to wash them up I'm going to see if there's any shrinkage or dye colouring or anything that goes wrong um, with either of them and then I'll get, have to get back to you so it won't be for a little while but that's because I've never made anything with this one right so a little bit of maths done on my mystery bag um, so for the 900 clearance box of yarn, basically I paid for those and I got them ones for free. And, and then for the box um, of mixed cakes, it's basically paying for, oh sorry, for these three. Yeah, paying for those three, getting a full priced one of them, which is um, six ninety nine for those ones, and then full price on these as well, and um, getting they, these last four for free. They are amazing value. I think I might be going back, but I need to. Uh, crochet some more and make some room first right I'm off now so I'm gonna put all these squidgy nice things up on the shelf and um, start working on other ideas for other patterns and there might be another video out later today just talking about the items for this week that I've made as you can see there's not many <laughs> not like other weeks 
but um i'll see you all later so if you haven't already if you could subscribe that would be absolutely amazing give me a thumbs up and um, and possibly a comment below that would be absolutely brilliant and i'll see you all next time stay safe and i'll see you soon bye bye